everyone, Crafty Kara here, and I'm going to do December, January's update, even though we are already a week into February. So, the, I know the last video I posted was um, a Euro Whips video, so I try not to go into detail too much of what I've done between um, November and now. So, but there wasn't a whole lot until January. Um, and hopefully I've posted another video because I made a video for December, um, but it never got posted because I got busy and I have four kids. So, but it's there. I'm just going to edit it a little bit. But anyways, after, uh, I think it was December 6th, there wasn't a whole lot of stitching done because Christmas was coming. The kids were getting out of school. And I didn't want to focus on that. It was Christmas shopping and wrapping and yeah. So I was only working on projects whenever I really, really had time to sit down. And it was usually a starting something new. Um, like this one you probably just saw. I did over Thanksgiving weekend. So for Christmas weekend, I really had the urge to start something. And it was Lizzie Kate's Life's a Stitch. This was so much fun. I used all the called four colors. Um, and the satin stitch around the edge kind of gave me, I mean, excuse me, made me a little nervous. But I really, really love how it looks. This will probably just be finished into a pillow ornament or something for my double. Um, and yeah, I did that, I think about three or four days. I had it written down on my wall, but uh, I'm afraid to go out there. I really am. Because it's out there. Because <laughs> I think that and this was my only two finishes until Christmas. I did plan on starting off what you know some things for this year. And once I decided to join the Euro Whips, I got a little crazy. Um, so I've already showed you that stuff, but let me show you what I did for January because I got crazy and not had one finish, not two, not even three. I had five finishes in the month of January. All between January after January 20th. So my first one is a start I did on uh, New Year's because this is a for Stitch for Stash a New Year old start, right? New Year old stash. So I had this and I had this for a while. I had the threads for a little while as well. And after seeing uh, Stitch and Joanne's finish, I was like, I really want to do this, and I want to do it now. But I just never got myself to do it. So, no excuses on January 1st. I pulled out most of the called four colors, and I started it. And by January 20th, it became a finish. He is so adorable. I'm kind of upset that I didn't do him sooner. I think he's a little bigger than I anticipated. I mean, when I first bought the pattern. But uh, it says stitch on 28 count, but I stitched him on 32. Um, Lagana Taupe, my seriously favorite fabric lately. And he's supposed to be five and a half, or five and a quarter, but he's not quite that. I had a really. I probably got moved. Oh, there's one. But stitching him on 32 count. He's about four and three quarters. But looking at the model stitch, I thought the buttons would look really odd because I stitched on something smaller. I'm almost wondering if the model really was stitched on um, 32 count because the buttons are right on 
But anyways, he looks good. Thank you, Joanne, for enabling me to start him. Because he was really easy once he started. But I finished that on January 20th. My first year of whips finish, which I posted. Sorry, my hair is driving me crazy back there. Okay. My kind of journal here. But I made a list of all my <laughs> my year of whips and my goal that I want for them by the end of the year. And then I'm writing in like when I finish them and for Stitch for Stash, I write the value that I earn as credit on those. So hopefully keeping all the information in one place will become handy. So my next, I you know, once you finish something, I think it becomes addictive to finish something else. So I immediately picked up, yes, my next one was Readers Are Leaders. It's from dailycrossage.com. It's still available. I think it's $2.99 now. Um, I did this before. I did it last year for a teacher, but this year I decided to do it for the librarian of the school. And instead of doing it landscape, I did it um, portrait style. And I really like how this looks portrait style. And I thought I was going to change the colors, but decided not to. And put the librarian's name on the book. And I chose to do it in blue. Again, these are charted brown. Okay. Last year I did it in a green because I was a teacher of color, but I really like how the blue stands out. And it's on 16 count or 14 count. 16 count fillers, Ada? No, 14. But it doesn't really matter much. That's going to go in a nice little frame. And to the librarian, it will go. I finished that on the other page. Where's it going? There it is. I finished that on 122, so two days later, got that done. It just it was so easy. Um, and got an eight dollar credit for that. Now looking at this, I don't know if you can tell. I cut it out how I was moving it around. I count the stitches. See if I can explain this. For this portion, I counted the stitches it was around here, and I counted the stitches around here and how I was going to, to reorient, I mean, like reposition it, and then how much I was going to get between it. So that helped me line things up to be centered the new way. So once I measured from here to here, I knew my center mark, and I measured from here to here, I knew my center mark, and this made them line up. Makes sense. I just took a minute one day, you know, before I started it to think about it. And I really love how it turned out. And I'm gonna see I wrote that down so I can keep that in case I want to do it lands, I mean portrait style. Again. So next after that was my mill hill. This was the only um, the only thing I started before the year was over that I finished this month. Oh, mill hill music. This is so much fun. Oh, and it's out there. Since it's out there and he's quiet and watching TV, I'm going to insert a picture of it here. So glad this is finished. It um, really all I had left for this um, when I started it in January or worked on it in January was um, the back stitching and the beading and there's a lot of beading those letters half of the letters is beading so sorry i forgot i didn't have it in here but i'm um like i said you uh will see that but that was then finished 
on the 25th, so just a few days later. And that gave me an $8 credit as well. Then after that, again, this stuff, I told you, it gets addicting. I got, I mean, I just kept going, kept going, going, and going. It was your whip number 15. And this was Tuesday again, but this comes out of the free chart from issue 242 of World of Cross Stitch. I did this before, but last year I did it on white data. This year I did it on cream. And sorry, I got some fuzz on there. I love this. I mean, how could you not love these letters? And I don't even want to show you guys this if you've seen it because they're so pale, but they look fantastic in the black. Now, the reason I did it is on cream. The reason why is I had this fabric. I got this at my local quilt shop as a scrap. And this cream matches perfect. So, oh, I had it backwards, but oh, this is going to be somehow folded around some kind of board and glued and with this over a larger board. And I already have the ribbon somewhere um, to make a hanger for it. So I can't wait to get this FFO'd, but it's done. This was finished Oh, no, Millhill Music was finished on the 23rd. This was finished on the 25th. I thought there was a chunk of days in between there. Millhill um, was a 250 credit and this was an $8 credit. That makes much more sense. It's hard when you have two things named the same. I don't know, so, so far, this seems to be one of my favorites. Um, as a finish. Uh, let's see. So next, addictive finish. It was number 17, your whip, Dr. Seuss. Another one I've done before. This is for the kindergarten teacher. I did, I did a blue Ada because they really pop off of that. And I just add the teacher's name at the top. That way it's personalized and they know that this was made for them by me. And again, it says you're never too old, too wacky, too wild to pick up a book and read to a child. How much fun. And Dr. Seuss is finished on the 28th and it was an $8 finish. Yay. And I even have a spreadsheet that somebody had shared something very similar. And I apologize because that's what I'm looking at right now. And I love this because once I finish something, I go straight in here and I type it in. my expenses, my credits, and now I know exactly how, where I am for the month. So those are my five finishes for the month of January. I almost have one more finish, but I didn't get finished officially until the first. So we'll talk about that one later. I'll try to stay one month at a time. Um, all those gave me uh, well enough credits, 24, 32, $35 in credits. That's pretty awesome. I only had two purchases. One was a pattern for the Jodry designs, um, which I shared in my ear whoops video, but I will uh, go ahead and post that here. Um, that was my only pattern purchase, and then I had to buy $2 in floss to get. Um, Oh, to get lost to restart this one for my sister. I think they're backwards. Where did it go? 
I was right back here. I had to get some floss to start that. So it was a very successful month. Very happy with how it all turned out. And it's still addicted to finish something because I've already have two finishes for the month of February. Um, I finally got my uh, winter Spinner um, Creek. I love this. This is cute. Also, they finally sent this in a plastic sleeve. So thank you, Stony Creek, because it did not get eaten up by any of the postal machines. Makes me very happy. Um, I did buy a frame at Walmart. I saw this, and it was $3, and I was like, I know I need that for something. This will now be... I can find it again. This should now be the frame just right for Lizzie Kate's Time for God. It should just barely fit. Perfect. Um, I wish it was in brown, but maybe I can change that. So while I'm here and thinking about it, I want to share with you what I got before I joined Stitch from Stash officially. Um, I finally hinted at my husband that for Christmas I want stitchy stuff and I want him to buy it instead of him tell me to go buy what you want. So I did give him a lot of hints and I left open the screen and then I went and did some errands and he purchased some things. So. Some of it's not a surprise, but I am surprised that he left it in the shopping cart because it made my day. So I didn't think I would want another Nora Corbett. Not that I don't like them or Mirabilia's. It's just I don't see me doing a whole lot with them. But these little fairies are so cute. And I have fallen in love with Sweet Pea and she's not too big and she's just pretty and purpley you know hello purples so the, I told him this is one of my favorites that I've been wanting for a while so she needs a, a water lily this is espresso not sure I have something where you can see probably not it's got it's kind of a brown tone with purples and reds and greens but in a really dark but that's the only like specialty fiber that she requires um, if you don't count treasure braid, well, I, excuse me, I'm, I'm substituting a treasure braid for the, uh, Krennic, um, Krennic 198. I couldn't find anything that matched that, but then I substituted whatever the other Krennic was for PB16. And after looking at the pattern, it doesn't need a whole lot of any of that. Well, okay. It needs... A lot of this for the wings but the other stuff isn't that much so this some I'll do in the future and I do suggest this for others who want to purchase a lot more than any Nora Corbett's or Mirabilis is to um, purchase the pattern before you buy like the packs and stuff because you might be able to substitute something um, because really this isn't even used that much in there and I'm just glad that I only needed one kind of specialty fiber because I'm sure I can use this for something but you know th these are very um expensive and there's a pack of beads and these cost because they're uh, magnific mag magnifica glass beads so they're they're from seashells so it was more expensive than regular beads and these beautiful light green um it is a 2016 there 
those are gorgeous and then a big pack of size eight glass beads and oh those are like scattered around her so so yeah i have every other than the basic bmc i have everything for her in the fabric which the fabric is not gonna be that big of a deal because i might hand dye something for her but i don't want to take away from her purples and i don't want to be too too much but we'll see but he got that for me very very excited when i open that and then saw this and he selected this himself mom's sewing room um disturb at your own rest this is a bobby g designs i've had this on my wish list since i've had known about one two three stitch um so we'll do something with that he also picked out for me a mill hill ornament with the bunnies yay so this will be done for next year or this year now. So cute. Then how I got an extra bead, but we'll figure out something. In my stocking, I got a new pattern. A little house needles work, little house needle works season greetings. That cardinal is so cute. And I also got Okay, how many colors it requires? Four. Yep, there's four colors. So I have the red and green. I have cherry cobbler and English ivy. And I think I have enough different whites that I can use, and the branches seem to have any variegation. I can do that. But I have grit and toasted marshmallow, it'll be really good for that frame. And I think that'd be a cute little ornament on the tree or in my new doorbell. And then also in my stocking was some more fabric. This is 18 count Ada. This is printed on white on the back. So it's printed on the front and it kind of has this marbly cloud kind of feeling to it. So I have many ideas that I can use that with. And then this warm cream, which is hard to tell. Actually, it's pretty close to some of these, like that yellow flower, but it's just 18 count that I can use for many different things. This is in my stocking and this was one of the coolest things that I've ever seen. This is a um, Fis Fisker's Punch, um, which you know we know there's scissors and they do a lot of crafting stuff. Okay, look at the bottom. That's what that punch is. It's a stinking cross stitch. Oh my gosh, I have not, I have ideas, I just haven't done it. You can punch out cross stitches with this, and I already have an idea of punching out different color construction paper <laughs> and making like a collage with other colors and making a cross stitch pattern in paper craft. A lot of work, so much fun, especially if there's just time. But you know, I just can't stitch, but I need to use my brain to craft. But I love this already, and then. My one last box of Thread Heaven. Um, yeah. My other one's misplaced somewhere, but it will last me forever. And I only have to use it for metallics and stuff like that. And then some short time after Christmas, I think I got this at Walmart on clearance, just a wooden hoop. I figured I can um, finish something with this. I see a lot of people using these as a just a uh, alternative way of finishing and maybe putting ribbon and stuff so i think that was only like 50 cents um so yeah there is my mid-december january um update i'm just 
it seems it's gone so fast. So I am working on um, Pinocchio. I have I have it already on my clipboard, but he's going to get a lot more love this month, especially for the um, Olympics during um, press stitch it's fun stitch what kind of Olympics or stitch Olympics. Because again, I only have three more sections to do before I do the back stitch, and he needs a lot of love. Um, I don't know if I brought him on. Here on the table. I have also officially made um, the boo for you or boo to you from the World of Cross Stitch. That is now kind of my car kit because now that I want to work with some of the bigger things here at the house, I need something in the car. But I think I have hid from my child long enough while he's watching TV. Um, let's just hope that the um, living room hasn't been destroyed. I want to thank you guys for sticking with me, um, watching this update, and hopefully I'll be back in another month or so. Um, I'm excited for this year. I mean, I've already got seven finishes down out of 27. I have 20 to go. Um, now I'm going to work on some bigger projects, so it's going to be a little slower, but the progress will still be forward, right? Progress is progress, no matter how small. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.